I think a lot of men wish they were like Steve McQueen, that kind of rebellious nature that he had. There was a reason why he was nicknamed the King of Cool. And in this video, I'm going to bring you some items that he used to wear so that hopefully a little bit of that coolness can rub off on you. So first up, we've got his sunglasses. In the Thomas Crown Affair, he wore Purcells and they were kind of the brand most associated with Steve McQueen. So he had these foldable Purcell 714s. Um, you can actually get your hands on these ones because Purcell have reintroduced them as the 714SM. So you can have that little bit of Steve McQueen style. So either on film or off screen, he wore a G9 Barracuda Harrington jacket and he even wore it on the front cover of Life magazine as well when he featured on that. It's probably most associated in the UK with sort of the skinhead or even the mod movements. And I guess that's an element of the rebellious nature that Steve McQueen had as well. Um, and also James Dean wore one in A Rebel Without a Cause. So in a lot of images of Steve McQueen, you'll see him wearing Superga trainers. Uh, they're an Italian brand and they're, they're just great value for money. They don't cost that much, but they last really well. You can wear them like Steve McQueen with chinos and a polo shirt. Or if you want to dress them up a little bit more, you can wear them with a suit as well. So you kind of got that smart casual look going on. In his spare time, Steve McQueen liked nothing more than tinkering with motorbikes on his ranch. Kitted out in raw salvage denim from the US mills, he wore his jeans in a slim silhouette, paired with a lumberjack shirt and sometimes a nice full beard. Jeans do wonders in building his roguish off-camera image. Here at AGR, we are fans of how he used to choose a chunky short knit over his denim shirts. If you're looking at the highest end of the market, then Mr. Porter is a great destination for denim. Um, and you can choose from brands like APC, or if you want something a bit more affordable, then Uniqlo do some really good denim that lasts really well. Whether wearing a wardrobe full of suits in Thomas Crown in 1968 or attending premieres looking smart, when it came to suiting it had to be tailor made. The Grey Prince of Wales, which has become the iconic look from the film Thomas Crown Affair, um, was made by Savile Rose Douglas Hayward. Off screen and in his everyday life it was a slim fitted two piece style favoured by the late Steve McQueen. 